Case Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation over here with my man Lewis the Cubist. What's going on, man? What's going on, Dante? All right, now you over here, you manage your car Frampton, right? Nah, I work with this team. You work with this team. Yeah. So just real quick before I get into everything else, break down this fight. Main event, Frampton versus Leo Santa Cruz. How does it go down? I think it's a great fight. Um, two great fighters. Uh, the first fight was a, you know, a real good fight, and uh, I expect this fight to do the same. Uh -huh. you know, Carl Frampton taking the victory. Yeah. Do you think it's going to matter if Leo S Santa Cruz, if he changes his game plan, and he tries to box, he got the long reach. What do you think? Well, I think Carl's a fighter that can adjust to any style. You know, he comes forward, he boxes, you know, he's got power. Uh, you know, he, he's a complete fighter, so I think he's prepared for whatever uh, Santa Cruz has to bring to the table. Uh -huh. Now, your boy Edislani Lara, he continues to win, he continues to call out Golovkin. I mean, are, do you feel that, that Golovkin's team are running out of excuses? I mean, what do you think is stopping that fight from coming to fruition? Well, you, you know, uh, Lars is going to keep fighting and keep winning. He, he's always there for that fight. He's there for the Canelo fight. They always got excuses that Lars is not big enough, but, but Lars' viewership was bigger than Danny Jacobs' last viewership on Spike. So, um, let's see how his fight goes. He's got a real tough fight with Danny Jacobs. So I'm focus on that, but like I said, Lars wouldn't fight him next. Uh -huh. Okay, now since Lara most likely won't get Golovkin next, who else is um, on Lara's hit list? I mean, you got Andre, the, Char uh, the Charlo twins. I heard Lara recently said he's willing to fight Jamel. Yeah, he's willing to fight Jamel, who, who works with a different trainer. You know, uh, the Charles are like family, especially Jamal. Um, but this is a business, and the fight's there for him. He's, he's ready to take it. Um, Andrade's another guy. Uh, um, there's a lot of young, hungry guys coming up in the division. Lara just told me, you know, he wants to fight. If he can't get the best guys, get him a young, hungry guy. He wants an undefeated guy. Mm -hmm. Now, even though Kel Brook, he moved up from welterweight to middleweight to fight Golovkin. Some of the fans are saying, Lara, he needs to move up to 161st before he gets a fight against Golovkin. What do you say to the fans that say that? Lara's a world-class fighter. He don't got to move up. He's ready to go now. We don't need no tune-ups. We don't need none of that. We'll move up and fight Golovkin, Canelo, whoever it is, you know? And, and, and there's a Lara earned that world title that he's got, so he can't get a big fight. He wants to defend his world title. You know, WBA's a, a great belt to have. He's got the IBO, and then he's going to keep defending his title. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs>